so in this video first we'll be looking at the groups and we'll be retrieving the group in information using the c sharp so let's type net group domain admins and here you can see we have one user administrator when i go to active directory users and computers and so right double click on this domain admins so this is the member of administrator and this one and if you go to the members and you can see along with the administrator there is a group called pawn whenever uh, i go to the command output i don't see that pawn group here so what happens is uh, it will only fetch the users from this uh, list and also in this group if you double click on this go to the members and here you can see there is another group nested pawn and there is a user test to so if you own the test to user then your directory the domain admin and here also double click this nested pawn and here you can see the members test one and if you pawn the test one you are the domain admin uh, this information uh, will not get using the uh, net group you can also use the power view and you need to pass uh, the recursive option i guess so you need to do some extra effort to find all of these groups so in this video we will be using the c sharp to get all of the nested groups and users as well so first let's uh, write the function that is accessible to the members of the class and return type is void we are just printing out the no, uh, values so you no need any return type so get all members so the first uh, alphabet should be capital that is the convention in the c sharp and the first string i want to first argument is let's say group name So we'll be passing the group name and the second argument as the domain name. So we'll be using a function called group. Uh, before that, we'll be importing all of these namespaces. First one is directory services dot account management and second one is directory services dot active directory. By default, these are not imported. You need to right click on the project and go to add reference. So in this reference, uh, check the checkboxes for the corresponding at, uh, directory services and click on OK. So here we go. So click on this and click on OK. Now you can import these namespaces. In that namespace, there is group principal dot find by identity. So group principal dot find by identity will find uh, the exact group name by the given uh, string. So the first argument is principal context on which context you need to find. Uh, we need to find based on the domain and second one is the string value, the group name you want to find. So before that, we need to make one principal context object. Let's say P is equals to new principal context. Now, if you uh, hold control and click on this, uh, there are a few uh, constructors. Uh, you can pass the principal context of context type. So we'll be choosing the context type dot domain for this and the string name and the container username and the password. Uh, you can also uh, just you can pass the username and the password as well but we'll be just running the exe on the machine directory on the uh, your domain user command prompt so we'll be just passing the first one context type 
dot and you can see there are three options application directory and domain this is the ADDS so we will be choosing this one and the second one is the domain name that is tech69.local that is my domain since we have passed this value into this uh, domain name argument so we can just say uh, domain name instead of my tech69.local now the principal context object is ready you can pass this object to here and from this uh, ADDS store uh, search for domain admins domain admins you can also uh, this is case in sense 2 so you can also pass a small d and small a as well since we are passing the group name i am just deleting this let's say group name and the return type you can uh, hover onto this group identity and the return type is group principal returns a group principal object okay let's say group principal gp is equals to group principal object now you need to find what are the methods available in this gp so gp dot and here you can see the context type you will get this context type and display name distinguishing name so you will get the group information as well so one important uh, function we are focusing is get members and if you hover onto this the return type is principal search result so it's just a uh, array so you can loop using the for each uh, principal group in group gp dot get members so this get members will get all the members including the user and the group so we can just say group dot so here you can see the description display name distinguishing name you can also print the full distinguishing name uh, cn up to the dc and you can also get groups uh, for if this is group as well so first let's just print the name and we'll be uh, providing the command line arguments to this program so first one is a uh, group name uh, which is provided by the first argument let's say args of zero that is the first argument and domain name so in other programming languages the first argument is file name but here uh, the first argument is args of zero and we need to create so here this is the class one we have two functions that is get all members and the main function we need to create an object of class class one and we'll be calling this get all members so let's say class one c is equals to new class so we have declared the object when i say c dot you can see here the members get all members that is the function and you need to pass group name comma domain name so this will go and pass the group name domain where name values to this get all members and we'll be finding the group by this group name in the context of this domain and we will be printing just name for now let's build the solution so let's copy this uh, you can also right click on this project and click on this open folder in fire explorer so get group.exe and domain admins and tech69.local okay so you can see administrator and now you can see the pawn but you don't know the uh, whether it is the pawn is the user or the group so what you can do is you can print the type of this uh, object so if uh, there is one group dot is structured uh, st structure object class sorry so group dot structure object class returns whether it is user or group if it's a uh, user now we can just say Uh, user or uh, let's say group dot name so we are just printing this as a username so let me delete this one or you can just say if uh, group dot 
structure object class is equals to is equals to group and then we are printing group so let's build this one and now you can see we got the user group now what we need to find is all the members of the group and all are the members are the group of this group so you need to find recursively up to the end of the tree so what you can do is uh, after printing this uh, you can call the same function get all members here so this is the called recursion you get all members of now you need to pass the group name so the group name is the group dot name and the second one is normal domain name which is a constant so first we'll be finding the groups of domain admins and if there is any other group in this domain admins group then we'll be finding uh, again the members of the group that is pawn so let's go and run this one and now you can see we have group pawn and user test two, and the group nested pawn and the user test one. But uh, there is a slight confusion. We don't know whether this is uh, test two is member of pawn or something. So what we can do is we can print the uh, parent group from here. So we can say user. So we can say group is member of so the group dot name is the current uh, child group and this uh, group name is the parent group group name so this should do fine let's build the solution and copy here and here you can see uh, user administrator group pawn is member of domain admins and the test 2 nested pawn is member of pawn test 1 so let's also uh, modify this user is member of 1 so this is the uh, let's say group name so this should do fine And now you can see we got all the users and the groups here you can see username is also a member of the group so this gives you uh, total clarity of what are the users present users in the groups present under the particular group so let's say remote desktop users and there is only one user that is uh, test2 is member of remote desktop users so that's all for this video so uh, you need to enumerate everything you don't need to uh, leave a small piece of information also